Velocity client log files are used for debugging purposes by systems administrators and Wavelink support teams. Each client has the ability to log the data stream of a mobile device when activated. It is activated manually on the device through a host profile. The switch to activate logging is a setting in each host profile. To get to that setting, you must choose the desired host profile and do a long press on top of the host profile listing. From the Modify Host Profile menu, select Edit. This process requires a password. The default password is System. Enter the password and then click on OK. You are now in Edit Host Profile mode. Scroll to the section Enable Logging. To enable log files to be created, slide the Enable Logging bar to the right until it says Yes. Next, set the file size. Velocity Client Logging will always have the two most current sets of log files, so make the files big enough to capture the data you think is needed. To save the changes, double-click on the Android Back button. When asked to confirm the changes, click on Yes. The Velocity Client Log files are stored on the device in the com.wavelink.velocity folder. This was created on installation. As we stated before, there are two log files that will be created. First is the most current log file called velocity underscore session dot log. If the data fills up to the maximum log size or the session is disconnected, a new file is created named velocity underscore session dot back. The contents of the current log file are copied into this new backup file. If you are still in the session, the file holding the current data will be overwritten. If it is a new session, the current data log file will be overwritten on Session Connect. Using the default settings, you will always have the last 2 megabytes of data from your device.